Nelly, welcome back to my channel. Hi. Uh, good afternoon, good evening, good morning, wherever you are and you're viewing this video. How are ya? Um, so I just kind of wanted to take a moment and just kind of give you guys, you know, a video update um, on what's been going on. Um, by the way, I hope everyone is doing well and lovely on this beautiful day. It's cloudy on my end, but you know what? Every day that we wake up is a sunshiny, bright day, so I will not complain. Um, had to stop and go and get my coffee uh, just so I can kind of get things going, you know what I mean? Um, <clears throat> excuse me. <clears throat> so, I just... So, I just, like I said, wanted to stop by, have a little story time with you guys, and, you know, pretty much just give you an update on <clears throat> how Elijah's been doing. Um, a lot of you have reached out, uh, sent messages, emails, you know, text, uh, Facebook posts, um, you know, on what's going on with him and looking for updates with him. So... I just wanted to take the opportunity to just sit and talk with you guys for a minute and also just to kind of clear my head as well for a second, you know? Just so much has been going on lately. Um, it's just been one thing after another, um, you know, it's just a lot. But anywho, let's get to the topic. Elijah, that's the topic for today. <laughs> So, since we last spoke, I told you guys about him not being able to eat, you know, not need, not being able to keep, keep things down. Um, up to date, he's been able to keep things down. Um, he's been very good with drinking, um, which is a great thing. <sighs> my parents and my sister came up on Friday. And let me just tell you guys how ecstatic he was that they were coming up here. He didn't want anyone else up here but them. And it was just, I guess he's just like, you know, he just wants them first. You know what I mean? Like, he misses them. Like, without a doubt. I think we all miss, you know, family um, without a doubt. Like, I got to tell you guys all the time, I think that that is one of the most difficult parts about going through this is just not having our family up here and I'm not taking away from the support that we have and that I'm grateful for um you know <clears throat> it's been you know pretty dark lately so to speak um you know with him not you know really wanting to have his friends reach out to him or go out and about Elijah was like solely just to himself in his room wouldn't didn't want to get out of the bed or anything and when my parents came I saw so much life come out of this kid that I hadn't seen for three weeks even the people that can get him to smile every single day he did just did not smile at all like he was just in this funk and I can't take anything from him like you know sometimes that's how it is and I feel like he's been so strong through all of this that he has every right at this point to feel how he feel you know and um when my parents were here you know they cooked and you know everyone took turns with sitting in his room with him and just talking to him you know like everybody had different aspects to bring to the table so to speak you know like so you know, my mother bought the, the prayer, you know, and God and the Bible. And, you know, that was her aspect of her time with him. And just consoling and comforting, you know, and giving advice, you know, as far as finding the Lord and standing the ground to be with the Lord. And there was my father. And him and my father had their own you know, special connection that they talked about. Like, they talked for hours, the two of them, you know? And my sister, they sat and they talked, you know? And everybody laughed. And being that all of us was there, it was just like everybody was able to get his mind away from where he had been 
for the last three weeks and it was amazing and on Saturday like this kid literally got out of his bed came downstairs to the living room and sat with us to watch a movie that's the first time in three weeks that he came out of his room down the stairs excuse me to sit with us and so I was amazed and so grateful and blessed at the same time you know and same for Sunday he came down and he chilled for us you know chilled with us for a little while and you know he went back upstairs to his room and then he even went out for a little while you know wasn't for a long period of time but he actually got out of the house and I just was like thank you God you know thank you like because I didn't know how I was gonna get him out of this funk that he was in and <clears throat> I was so grateful for that, you know, like even those just those little moments, like it was the best. Um, you know, he did he did have a course over the weekend where he would um, eat and then it would just come, you know, right back out. And I'm sorry if that's grossing you guys out, but, you know, part of the update. Sorry. And um, so we realized that he may have a little bit of uh, bleeding in his stomach. So we backed off on one of his medications that he was taking and replaced it with something else um, to kind of, you know, get a hold of that. And, um, you know, when they left on Sunday and he came home, he just kept saying to me, like, Mom, you know, I wish that they could stay longer, you know? Like, I wish that we had family here, like, you know, so that they can always come. And I'm like, yeah, you know, I agree with you. Like, I know, you know, I know how you feel. And him and I were just talking and talking. And, like, I have one, you know, all of my kids are great. I'm, I, I can't even take anything from anybody else. My kids are awesome kids, like, and I find myself learning about them, more about them each and every day, and learning about all of their different uniqueness, you know what I mean? Like, it's it's awesome, it's amazing, you know? And like, speaking to Elijah and how mature he is and dealing with the situation that he's dealing with is remarkable. Um, you know, like he has so much, it's, it's amazing that you can see a kid go through, you know, the magnitude that he's going through and still have everyone else's feelings in his mind. He's not even focused on, I'm not going to say he's not focused on what he's going through because he absolutely is, but he's more focused on what he's going through and how everybody else is going to handle it. You can't tell me that he's not remarkable. <laughs> Who? He is going through what he's going through and he is still worried about how everyone else around him, including his friends, are going to feel when he's no longer on this earth. I gotta praise God. I have to just <laughs> thank you, Father. Amazing. He leaves me speechless. He fills my heart. So on those rough days when I feel like I don't have any more push in me, <laughs> but God, He give me another another reason to keep on trucking and the only thing I can say is God I hear you I'm taking heed to it and I'm gonna keep on pushing y'all amazing you know and then I look at Tati let's talk about Tati for a second this girl is a senior in high school captain of a step team worked two jobs with everything going on with her brother, she still pushes through. She never ceases to amaze me. Like, 
everything that she does is like, wow. Your motivation, your ambition in life is like amazing. Y'all, sometimes Tati will sit there and she will talk, 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 talk. And I listen and I laugh inside because I'm like, girl, you are smart as hell. And your determination for life is, thank you, God, again, bless me with wonderful human beings as kids. Let's take Izzy. Izzy calls his mom every day just to see how I'm doing. Got a job, got a car, got his own apartment, and my baby is about to be 22 years old on Friday. I am in awe. But there is nothing that we can't talk about or communicate about. Again, another one, four hours away that I worry so much about just because he's not here with me in handling everything that's thrown at him in regards to his brother. And <clears throat> as a mom, I feel tied because I just want to hug my son and say, we in this together. I got you. But he's so far away, but he still stands strong. Goes to work every day and works very hard. Calls every day to his brother. Every single day, he calls his brother. Like, never skip a beat. So these kids live their lives, but they never skip a beat when it comes to their brother. So believe you, me, when I say... I have awesome kids. Like, it's just amazing. And I know that, you know, Elijah miss Izzy very much. You know, I, I know that he wishes that he can be here. But, you know, we they, everybody has lives. But just like I tell Elijah every day, I got your back 100%. I'm always going to be here. Feel me? So anyway, I'm sorry to take off course for a second, but I just needed to express that to y'all because God is amazing. He is a merciful God. And regardless of the situation that I am going through, I am blessed each and every day. When I can wake up and see a whole nother day and all three of my kids are alive and blessed to see it as well. And I know that there is a time frame, you know, I, I, I think for me, I don't personally dwell on the winds and the hows because we can all die tomorrow. Nobody knows when their time is. So whereas Elijah may be going through this aspect of it, God forbid any of us can die today, tomorrow. We don't know when our time is. So at the end of the day, we still have to be blessed that we still have breath. And so let's get back to the topic at hand because I wanted to kind of touch bases with the reason we went ended up at the clinic. So Elijah was complaining about his chest. Like he couldn't breathe. He was having really bad chest pains. And as we all know, Elijah has a couple of different nodules in his lungs, nodules, tumors inside of his lungs. Um, and so we were thinking that maybe one of his lungs collapsed, so we needed to get him there ASAP because he couldn't breathe. He was at a point where he was like wheezing to catch a breath and just, you know, it was hard. It was horrible. It was horrible. Uh, but thankfully and thank God that his lung nodules didn't grow because if they grow, then that's another concern that we have. Um, but, it, it, you know, it's more of his anxiety. Elijah gets very anxious nowadays. Um... And I'm not going to say why he gets anxious. I think what I'm going to try to do is get a video in with him. Um, and I kind of want him to talk to you guys about how he feels, if he's up to it. You know, I don't want to go into those details, not without his permission, not, you know, even, you know, it, even if he wants to talk about it, I would rather have him discuss how about how he feels versus me telling you guys about how he feels. Um, but... You know, thankfully, we made it home, resting, changed some of his medications to something else. And, you know, by the grace of God, we still stand in. Um, 
but I'm gonna end this video because I didn't want it to be too long just wanted to kind of touch bases with you guys give you a little update as to what was going on but home resting good for now um so continue to watch share subscribe to my channel uh continue to pray for us please encouraging words we love them all and we thank you all for everything thank you for the love the support the prayers the thoughts thank you guys they are very much appreciated until the next time you guys have a blessed day stay tuned